Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Starbound today. Uh, we're taking care of a couple quests right quick here in, um, in the colony. Just a couple things that I uh, had gone on to take. It's basically taking out this big punk right here, which is actually so much faster than I expected. Uh, possibly because, uh, our, our friend over there softened him up a little bit. Um, the other one was, is just a coal and wood quest that I, I think I picked up and I already have, actually have the, uh, materials for. Uh, yeah, it looks like I do. Uh, so we got a little reward there. It's nice. It's a good deal, huh? Give me a med pack. Very nice. And that up. Yes. And, uh, let's see, a ten torch. That's very simple. Uh, he's, I'm guessing that he's gonna... <laughs> I mean, torches I can do. Torches I do all the time. Oh man, of course. Well, like I said before, I actually made a little shortcut to the Minionog lab Laboratory, so we can actually just go there really quick. Um, today I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out the next leg of our story journey. And, uh, what just happened? Oh, yeah, so we, we got our new, uh, new crew member right here, so we can, uh, set everyone to look like pirates at the moment with scarves. And we'll wait on it. I, I, that might be it. That might be what we go with. I'll get something like it anyway. Maybe something a little bit more uniform piratey or uniform cool. Like a uh, highwayman jacket or or a uh, highwayman coat, coat or something like that. But uh, we'll see about that in the future. First of all, though, we're gonna go check out that uh, compound. Give that, give our contact the items required, wherever the hell they are. Serious? Oh, there they go. I found them. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Look, thank you. I was gonna say, if you're just, if you're gonna just hang out there. There we go. And are you a, yes you are, Bone Smith Skull Hat. Take care of that mess up there. Cannibal's Trouser, huh? Gatherer's Helm? What, wow, that's ridiculous. I don't know if I want that either, okay. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and beam back up. And like I said, it's gonna be a bit, a bit easier to to take care of quests in the colony if uh, I do do things this way. Because you know you usually have to go to a, a specific point, specific landmark to take care of quests if they're uh, battle or trade other or, or otherwise. And uh, if you if you waypoint those, it makes it a lot easier. Perfect. Primitive chandelier, you say? Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty tight. I like that. That's cool. I'm, I'll take that. That's all right. Let's get a little rent here. A yellow flashlight. All right. We already got one of those. We can actually sell it right away. Pretty sure we got a yellow flashlight. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. Really? That's all? I, really? 100? That's it? Come on, man. Better than that. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these two. Cause uh, sell it. Get. Oh man, I thought the I thought the dude had a new hat on. I was mistaken, very much mistaken. And uh, again, we don't have anyone inhabiting this house yet. Still, I really like I really like how this one came out. I think that the the red brick really adds a, a different dimension to it. Um. I gotta finish up the roof on this. It's just that's really all that needs to 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 come up before I uh and and take out a bunch of the things that I, that I have in here already because I want to get I want to get someone with with good taste, but maybe not a socialite, maybe not a uh, another maybe not another uh, philanthropist. This takes up quite a bit of room. I'll I'll make a if I get another philanthropist, I'll put him in a bigger bigger spot. Make him a bigger house, you know, a big fancy house. That's what you need. You're a philanthropist. Um, 
All right, let's go check out. I'm gonna head back to the ship. I'm gonna see here. I gotta unload some stuff, I'm sure. Well, it's fine if I'm going on a story mission. It's not a problem. Um, it's not a problem for food because you don't actually lose, you don't actually gain any hunger while you're, you know, out and about. Let's put away some things here. And there's not a whole lot else. Uh, these, obviously, this, for the time being, I should have just put that down at the station, or at the colony, but whatever. We all good, we all good. Good. I was going to spoil it pretty soon here. I'm going to cook this chicken up re right quick. This poultry. Go ahead and eat that. That'll fill us up the top. Heal us up just a little bit really quick here. And then we'll jump right into that mission. That mission, though. All right. I do have to revisit a whole ton of things, as mentioned previously. No, that's okay. I don't, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the glitch artifact here. And gain us a new compatriot in the battle against the evil eye thing. Hey, look. A wizard hat. I put on my robe and wizard hat. I like it. Not enough. All right. The big book of adventures. Please don't be seven pages. Okay, one page is good. The Baron Glitch, living but retired. The Baron's exploits span several decades and hundreds of worlds. He has fought swarms of ignome. What? Swarms of ignome in the magma fields of Apoch and plundered treasure from ruins of once great civilizations. He has sailed the savage seas of Cyanine and explored the darkest depths of the remote Arab forest. In all these endeavors, always pursued by his arch nemesis, Count One, the ancient and powerful, uh, uh, the ancient and powerful Rampire. Truly, the Baron is Baron is one of history's greatest adventurers. I dig it. I dig it. It's a good start. Now, see these these stairs right here. This keep belongs to a glitch known as the Baron. He is retired here, and, and by all accounts, it's a little eccentric. He may have a few loose screws, dear, but he's not dangerous. Oh. Oh, I'm sure that's the case. I am certain that is the case. Now, what if I went up here? Ah. Another secret chest. Good. Oh. There's my, there's my wizard robe right there. I'm... Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna go full Mickey Mouse on this business right here. Look at that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Details of the wager. I, Axel Brass, Fusamph the third, hereby wager my keep and lands in, in a game of clunky jacks with the Baron. And herewith promise to provide the Baron with deeds to set properly in the unlikely event that he wins. Should I win, I will be showered with the Baron's riches, and I will win, because I am really good at clunky jacks. I don't think he won, man. I'm just gonna say right now, I don't think he won. Alright, so that's a dead end right there. I'm... I, <laughs> I don't know if I want to roll around in full wizard gear right now. Kind, part of me does a little bit, though. Like, I, there really is that part of me that does. Definitely. That kind of red is pretty tight. It makes me look kind of like a superhero right now. I like that. Superhero with, the, with a scarf and a I mean, I'm Batman otherwise, but no. Okay, all right. Yeah, let me know if you guys want me to change the outfit, because, uh, I mean, I'm going to change the outfit eventually. I, I do want to get a pirate coat and really, really tie things together, I think. Because, I mean, space pirates, right? Come on. Got everything here. We all good. We all good. Dude, if I get up there and there's a dude sitting... And he throws a glass at me and tells me what is a man. I am going to be overjoyed, really. I mean, just beside myself with glee. Oh, shit. I sort of got it. I think I got minimal damage because... Hey, buddies. How's it going? You're not, not going to talk to me? Okay. That's cool. I guess. I mean, I understand. I get it. This is new. 
Check these. Oh, hello. Magic scroll. Oh, hell yeah. Dear Baron. They just straight up give you everything? Dear Baron, I kindly, and for the final time, request that you stop proposing legis legislative edicts. Additionally, I would once again like to make it clear that you are entirely unable to pass laws. To restate, you have no authoritative power. Please, please stop. Sincerely, Lord President of the Privy Council. Oh. Oh, he's a, he's a lord of the shit, the shithouse people. Yes. Yes, I could... Mm, should I? Mm, do I do this whole one as a wizard? Do I? Do I? Should I? Could I? Mm. I feel like this one's gonna be a little bit too easy or something, or it's gonna be like straight to the battle. They're like, you know, we were gonna send you through a big old castle thing, but we decided, no, nah, that's alright, you know, you just, you just hang out, you know, you just do whatever. Alright, no, I'm putting it back on. Putting everything back on. I love it too much. To give it up right now. <laughs> it does add a nice touch. I really like it. Hey, buddy. What's up? Affable. Hello, stranger. Welcome to my keep. I've been expecting you. Ever since you walked through the door. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Attentive. What's that? You have a request? The thing behind me? Oh, that. Yes, I found it some years ago. You can't have it. It's pretty, and I like it. Imperious. Well, goodbye then, strange person. Startle. Did you hear that? Those cloaked vagrants? Back again! This is the fourth time! Am I gonna... Decisive. Right. I propose a trade. You get rid of these loathsome cultists for me, and I give you the shiny bauble. This is a bit of a different quest. That would explain why they gave you everything. Oh, hell yeah. What, son? Let's dance. Yeah, I'm gonna put dimensional rip in your business. Right up in your face. Mamma jamma. Yeah, let's do it. Bring it, son. Bring it. Where you at? Where you all at? Where you coming from? How you been, son? Yeah, you'll walk through that one, huh? All right, all right. Enough of the arrows now. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah, you, you guys can return fire at any time. Oh my god, they keep coming. Oh lordy, they're here. Holy shit, they are really doing damage to me. I didn't realize. Oh lordy. Alright, can I like not get hit by those all the time? That would be great. Outrage. The brigands have rolled in a war machine. I won't have my keep obliterated. You must destroy that baluster. Consider that baluster destroyed, son. I'm a tear hole in, in space time. You roll that, you roll through that, huh? How you feel about that, huh? You feel good? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get some. The banister! My beautiful walls! Protect my beautiful walls! Alright, bro, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Suck it, nerds! Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's move back a little bit. Oh, there's a door there. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's right. He said something to me. What, what was it? Hello? It's me. I'm sorry, but there are more cultists coming. Please don't worry, though. We're going to help. I just get in the way, but the others are coming down. Awesome. This is pretty badass, actually. Oh, hell yeah. Nuru, what up? All right, all right. We gotta keep them at bay. They are, like, being all bitchy and shit. Holy Christ. What, what is this helicopter, bitch? Alright, let's go back through the wall. Yeah, suck on some eyes! Beware the eyes of March, or whatever. Ha 
have some space time suckery. Fiend. Yeah, that's right. What up? Is there? Oh, there's another one over here. Okay, cool. Get a rip in space time in your business. Alright, I need to get out of this. This is getting dangerous. We getting damaged real quick up here. Thanks, champs. Oh, hell. Oh, hell, they're coming. Oh, that's right. That's a jump. Okay. We good. Yeah, rocket, son. That's right. Now is the time. Now's the time for using them them stim packs and shit. Man, this is a sweet weapon. Yeah, get some! Get some! Alright, I'm gonna need another stim pack here. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Get up to it. Get up to it. Oh hell, I just put it down. There we go. Get some movement. Oh, I just threw it. Shit. There we go. Hell, man. I'm gonna use my last one right there. That's not good. This is not well planned. All right, got to get a different option here. Let's throw this on there. A little bit slower. A little bit slower. That's fine. Do the damage. Do the damage. Get it done. Yeah. Who the hell is everyone? Is everyone else dead? Oh. No, they just ruined this punk. Yeah, that's right. Jubilant! Ha <laughs> ha! That's done for them. We got every, every last one of those wretched magnets. I could sing! Come here, I want to speak to you. Impressed. Brilliant work. I doubt I'll suffer a return visit from them. Hmm. You remind me of a young me. You certainly earned your bobble. Damn right, son. Shocked. What's that in the sky? Probably more... Speechless. Oh, hell! Oh, good. It's you. So, Mummy sent you on another errand. Let's get this over with. Yes, yeah, suck this bone, huh? What up? Ow. That was mighty painful, actually. I prefer you not do that. If if it pleases the court. Let's get our uh, let's get our stim packs going again. Yeah, baby. Let's rock now. Yeah, what? Dude, Terrence, time space up in your bitch ass. Yeah, what? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna get a bone dragon, bro. That's awesome. You gonna help at all? Out all, man? Or are you just gonna stand there? Yeah, that's right, walk into it. Yeah, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> Take it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hell. Ow. Note to self, don't just walk right into it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that he could do damage to the uh, actual terrain. Oh, at least I get a door out of the whole deal. I got attacked by a bone dragon, and all I got was this stupid doll. Is that actually a bone dragon, or is it just... I mean, I feel like it's not actually that. This is probably a better tactic right now. At least for the time being. Okay. 
Yeah, let's get the... Let's get our usuals out. Oh, good. More friends. I hope I don't actually have to do anything specifically. Other than defeat him. That'd be a giant pain in the ass. I think I'm getting hurt by the <laughs> being able to jump too high. We're done here. This is pointless anyway. You haven't succeeded at stopping anything. This will all be gone soon. Dude, like... I don't know. I don't know what to say. Are they still here? Cautious. Is it gone? Are you intact? If it's gone, I need to talk to you. Galvanized. Take the artifact. And take me too. I don't know how to respond to that. I have a teleporter that you can use. I'm coming with you. I think this business needs sorting out. Reflective. Also, it's quite boring here. Dude, you have a monocle. What am I going to say? No? What the hell, though? Seriously, think about that. Like, what the flipping hell? Is there more? There's more. There's stuff up there, ain't there? Did I use my... Yeah. There we go. Whoa, ah, damn it. I'm not doing this very well. There we go. No, oh, oh. It's not actually anything up there, is there? It can't even go up there. Well, shit. All right. I guess I'll take it. That's fine. Key recovered. Nice. Bitchin. All right. And we get a shiny thing. Invigorated. Out into the great unknown. The Baron has joined the outpost. Dude's a pimp. Look at that. Did you see that little mustache he got? Whoa, damn, dude. The hell is going on here? Sky Stopper. Capture Throd? Pod? Capture Throd. The Bone Dragon. An advert for the Bone Dragon, you say. The Bone Dragon. Dragons aren't real. Not even the Bone Dragon. But with the Bone Dragon, you can get the semblance of reality. The stainless steel robot is encased in tough and durable Simu Bone TM. The most bone-like substance in the known universe. When you purchase the Bone Dragon, not only do you get a realistic facsimile of a dragon, you also get those classic dragon traits. The gift of flight, fire, red-hot fiery breath, and the predilection for murder. But there's more! The Bone Dragon is automated, with multifunction preset capabilities and an intuitive control system. Limited stock available. Buy now! Excluding actual bone. That's probably for the best. It would, it would cost way too much, I'm sure. Uh, everything's scanned. We all good. We we ready to rock here. We, dude, how did this guy get by just hanging out in this spot? I mean, there's nothing here. You could probably get a little bit more out of this, I think. All right, let's go back to can. Okay, good. I thought I was broken there for a moment. I was a bit scared. What's the last one I have to do? Did High Lottle, we did Apex. We did Florin. Did Avian. Human. No, wait. We already started with that one, didn't we? I'm getting the feeling that, like, oh, yeah, buddy. The fact that it jangles when it. Oh, my dude. This dude. Excited. As Esther has been showing me how to mend broken protectorate weapons. If only I could fix up my own rusted body. <laughs> that is the truth. Probably should have gotten that first. And Newer likes this place. Okay. We got one more to go. We got... Am I missing something? I'm, I'm assuming the last one is going to be the human one. I am assuming quite a bit here. Light three augment. That, I think, I think I might want that. That could be nice. It's not too expensive either, considering how much I have in my person at the moment. Alright, let's grab that. 
Anyway, this is a good place to break it off. We'll start the next episode with talking to uh, Esther. Um, if you uh, if you like me, if you like the channel, if you like the videos I make, go ahead and uh, if you want to help me out, like, comment, subscribe. That's the best way to do it. And really do appreciate it. It does help out a whole lot. So uh, definitely consider it. You know, uh, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for checking out the video. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.